Hi guys, uh, here we are in, the, in Monza uh, for the Italian Grand Prix this weekend. Uh, one of the most uh, traditional tracks on the calendar and uh, I would say one of the best circuits as well. Uh, we're all uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I think, uh, you know, the track, as we know, the track is one of the highest uh, speed uh, track we have on the, on the calendar. And uh, we, do, we do have some uh, quite of uh, variable conditions, weather that might, might, be, might be happening this weekend. So, uh, but we are ready for it anyway. So uh, today we're going to be asking, we'll be, we're going to be answering some of your questions that we received. So uh, I leave it to Marcus to, to begin with. Uh, do you welcome the proposed rule changes for 2017? Or do you feel like Formula One is exciting enough as it is? All right, hi guys. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's not uh, set in stone yet what the changes will be, but as far as I understand, they want to make the cars quicker, uh, look more uh, uh, spectacular to watch, uh, etc. And I think as every driver, I, I think, uh, of course, uh, that sounds good. We want to drive the cars as fast as possible and we want them to look as cool as possible. But still, yeah, I think, you know, F1 today is, is still very exciting, you know, and the races are great with a lot of uh, overtaking and stuff. But uh, I think it's with everything, you need to always uh, look how to improve. And I think it's good that F1 is doing that. So let's wait and see. All right. What do you think, Felipe? Well, I think it's yeah more or less the same. I mean, uh, we're always trying to look for more. Uh, I don't think Formula One today. Uh, is, I mean, it's uh, still an exciting race to watch and to race as well. As drivers, we have a lot of things to do in the car, managing tires, uh, the start procedures, and so many things that I feel uh, they are quite entertainment. But uh, we, I think, there is always margin to improve. And uh, by introducing, you know, uh, we, we, they are talking about the tires being different by 2017. And uh, I think the cars could also be quicker. Uh, then it depends if you're adding the grip, more grip from the tires or from the car itself. So uh, there is margin to improve. And I feel for us, anything that is new, we, we have to adapt to it anyway. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for it though. And Marcus, do you play the official F1 game? If you play, do you play as yourself? He plays with my car, of course. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, uh, I don't play that much. Uh, I've played it a couple of times. Uh, but I know my, my youngest brother, he, he's uh, playing it a lot. So always when I go home uh, to my parents' house, uh, I play with him. And uh, yeah, then it's usually, he always plays with myself. So that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, uh, Felipe, we have a question from Leo and he's wondering what was your fastest speed in a car ever? And I think it's any car. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would say well, the, the Formula One car was the highest speed I ever uh, got to. I think over 340 kilometers, something like this. But possibly this weekend I'm going to go even quicker because we are in Monza, so... Uh, Let's hope so. Yeah. Uh, we have the low, hopefully the low, low down first configuration here for the track and uh, we're going to see some high speeds uh, this weekend. And question from Javi uh, Munoz to Marcus. Are you in favor of incorporating a dome to the cockpit in order to improve the safety of Formula One? Uh, all right, I'm not sure what dome means, but I'm guessing it's something with the uh, cover the cockpit for the safety of, uh, of our us drivers. And I think uh, it's, uh, it's always important to, to you know, look for uh, safety first, you know, and obviously it's been some, some tragic uh, things happening. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think if they can find a way to, to make it work, I, I would be open for, for it, of course, because like I said, I think the safety is the, important, uh, the most important thing. So. Let's wait and see. We have the experts and, and they're going to take out solutions and we see what is uh, the best for the future. All right. Good. And we have a question from Felipe. Uh, as you are from Brazil, I wonder, have you ever visited Brazilian Carnival as a spectator or even participant? If not, would you like to? No, I've never been. Uh, it's something I have on the list for sure because uh, it's, an, it's one of our 
uh, most popular uh, events uh, on the year, the carnivals, and uh, you have you have it happening everywhere in the country. But uh, I've been normally away at this time. But I've been sometimes I do see on television. You know, the the show is quite big and. Uh, it really says a lot from Brazil how people are and how how uh, entertainment we are I mean, in these kind of things. So uh, the next thing is to is to go to a carnival for sure. Good. And uh, next, then, a uh, question from Mans: Who's your favorite Formula One journalist, Marcos? Uh, my favorite, yeah. I mean, obviously, I know my the Swedish team around me uh, in Viasat. I know them uh, very well. Uh, they've been covering me since I was in GP2. Uh, but you know, I don't want to say a favorite like that. But I think the the whole Viasat, Viasat Swedish TV team is. Uh, I, I know them very well, so I would probably pick uh, the whole Viasat team. All right, Felipe. Which was the last book you read or movie you watched? Well, I like both, uh, reading books and movies, uh, especially when we travel so much. Uh, we kill a bit of our time by you know, reading something or watching something. But the last one I've read was the book from uh, Andre Agassi, the tennis player. And uh, it's very re interesting. I would recommend uh, whoever likes uh, any any kind of sportsman's uh, biography, that's, that's a very good one. Okay, and now, last question to, to Marcus. Uh, well... <laughs> Do you think Jon Snow is still alive? Is it from Game of Thrones? I, I've got no idea. I've He's never not seen into that. Game of Thrones. No, I, not really. I don't know. I need to, to show him. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Game of Thrones, a bit spoiler alert if you haven't watched the last season, but um, I think he's dead, but obviously I, uh, I hope he's not, but uh, as far as I understand he's dead, but uh, apparently people think he's alive, so let's hope so. Let's see when the new season starts, I don't know when the new season is, but uh, let's hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, thanks guys, thanks for the questions. Thank and, you. Uh, Keep cheering for us this weekend and we'll try and uh, score some good points. Ciao. Box now. Felipe, what's wrong? I'm hungry. Copy. Watch your display. Choose your menu. What do you want?